The Turkish Ministry of Defense announced that Turkish Aerospace has delivered two Anka S and one AKSUNGUR unmanned combat aerial vehicles, UCAV, to the Turkish Navy. Turkish Defense Ministry released photos from the delivery ceremony, which was conducted in the Turkish Naval Aviation Command. After delivery, the drone inventory of the Turkish Navy increased to 20, two Aksingor UCAVs, 10 TB2BAYRAKTAR UCAVs, 4 Anka SUAVs, and 4 Anka BUAVs. Turkish Aerospace CEO Temel Kotal remarked in interview that a total of five Aksingor UCAVs have been delivered and will be used by the Turkish Navy, the Turkish Air Force, and for special missions. As previously reported by Naval News, the Turkish Navy has acquired its first Aksingor UCAV on 20 October 2021. With its large payload capacity, Aksingor can undertake continuous multi-role intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and assault missions and give operational flexibility outside the line of sight with its SATCOM payload. Due to its high endurance of flying there is a major expectation from Aksingor UCAV to boost the Turkish Navy's reconnaissance capabilities. Turkish Aerospace has currently been working on delivering anti-submarine warfare ASW, capability to Aksingor. After completing the project, Aksingor will launch and monitor sonobuoys and share the information gained from sonobuoys with other ASW assets in the area. The exact timetable is yet to be known. According to the statements of Thai officials at different times, Thai expects to carry out the actual Sonobui launch in the first half of 2022. If TAI's goal is met, Aksingor will be the second operational UAV to launch a Sonobui. General Atomics MQ-9B Sea Guardian deployed and released Sonobuis in early 2021. Derived from TAI's combat-proven Anka UAV, AKSUNGUR as a medium-altitude long-endurance, male, class UAV system, capable of performing day and night intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, ISR, and strike missions with EO, IR, SAR and SIGINT payloads, and a variety of air-to-ground weapons. Anka AKSUNGUR is powered by two PD-170 twin turbocharged diesel engines enabling long-endurance operations up to 40,000 feet. Thanks to the know-how gained from Anka, Thai developed the Axingor in 18 months. It made its maiden flight in 2019 and has reached 1,000 flight hours since then. During trials, it carried out the live firing at 20,000 feet altitude and hit the naval target successfully with a KGKSIHA-82 guided munition at a range of 30 kilometers in the Black Sea on 25 April. ANCA is a medium-altitude, long-endurance UAV program, male. The UAV program is a three-aircraft prototype development project that aims to design and develop all ground systems according to defined requirements and complete prototype and development testing. The program includes concept design, preliminary design and development, and testing and evaluation phases. During the development phase, a System Integration Laboratory SEL, has been established to develop, interconnect and integrate all systems. ANCA is a combat-proven platform that performs in operations including GNSS denied and other electronic warfare environments. ANCA has accumulated 90,000-plus flight hours, March 2021, with high mission availability and has taken its rightful place in multiple end-users' inventories.